Okay, let's continue with the last one on our notes. This one here is asking you to find the limit as x approaches negative 2. Negative 2, you should notice, makes this denominator 0. When it makes the denominator 0, it's either an asymptote or a whole. If it was an asymptote, we can write does not exist. We're done with this problem, and that's a nice thing. But we need to figure out if it's a whole. It's a whole if this numerator has an x plus 2 in it. If this numerator has an x plus 2 in it, we could cancel it with this one. And if this guy cancels with an x plus 2 in the numerator, then it's a whole. And to find the limit at a whole, you're going to plug negative 2 into the equation with the whole taken out. So, to figure out if x plus 2 is in the numerator, we have to do long division. So polynomial division here just to see if x plus 2 is in that numerator. And if it is in there, you won't get a remainder. There it is, no remainder. Now, what you should get used to doing is recognizing what you just did. You just found that x plus 2 times x cubed plus 4x squared minus 6x minus 8 is the numerator. Those two guys multiplied together is that. That's what you just found because you got a remainder of 0. So now this is our new equation, our factored equation. This cancels with this guy. That means that negative 2, which makes this 0, got canceled. And if it gets canceled, it creates a hole on the graph, not an asymptote. So the remaining equation, this guy here, is the same shape as this graph, except it doesn't have the hole anymore. That's the only difference. The exact same picture. If you were to graph this and graph this equation, they would seem exactly the same on your calculator. This basically takes the hole and fills it in so that there's no hole on your graph anymore. What's nice about that is you can now find the limit at that hole because you can plug negative 2 in for all of these x's and not get an error. If you plug negative 2 into the original equation, you would get it divided by 0, and that's an error. But plugging negative 2 into this guy won't give you an error, and whatever the answer to that, that is the limit at that location. So negative 2 cubed is negative 8. Negative 2 squared is 4, and 4 times 4 is 16. Negative 2 right there makes that positive 12. Bring that minus 8 over, and it looks like we have an answer of 12. So 12 is the limit of that equation at negative 2 because that's the y value of the whole. Okay, still got time here. Let's go to the front side now and do one of these. Oops. Focus. Not focusing. Oh, there it goes. Okay, okay if we look at number 1 here, it says, determine where the following functions have holes or asymptotes. Now, holes or asymptotes come from when the denominator is equal to 0. So what makes this denominator 0? Negative 3 does. So negative 3 is either a hole or an asymptote. It's up to us to figure out which one it is. In order to figure out which one it is, we need to see if that x plus 3 cancels. So we factor the top. <coughs> minus and plus and we see that it does cancel and if it cancels it creates a hole so I'm going to put hole at x equals negative 3 Now, while we're here, let's talk about the limit questions down below. 
if we go to the limit section down here all of the limits that have F you can see they're all labeled differently up above so we're looking at J oh wait number 5 and number 13 5 is asking you to find the limit as X approaches negative 3 negative 3 we just found to be a hole to find the limit at a hole you plug this X value into the equation with the hole taken out that's this guy that's the equation with the hole removed so we just have to plug negative 3 into that negative 3 minus 4 negative 7 on 13 you're asked to find the limit as X approaches 1 1 is not a hole it wasn't an asymptote which makes it an ordinary Joe Schmo point to find the limit at that ordinary point you just plug the X value in this case 1 into the equation you can plug it into the original equation or you can plug it into the equation with with the hole taken out it doesn't matter it's probably easier to use this in fact you should use the holeless equation every time plug 1 right there 1 minus 4 negative 3 so that's all the F limits down below let's go do number 2 trying to find holes and asymptotes so we first factor the bottom it's conveniently factorable to x minus 5 and an x plus 4 so we need to figure out if either one of these is located in the numerator and in order to do that we need long division since we've got this x cubed so we choose one of these two let's say we start with the x minus 5 and we see if it is factorable to that numerator meaning we do long division and get no remainder and we did get no remainder so right now what we have is x minus 5 times x squared plus 4x plus 3 in the top and because this x minus 5 and this x minus 5 cancel we just found and proved a hole at 5 now we need to see if x plus 4 is in there because if the x plus 4 cancels then we found another hole we could have two holes, we could have two asymptotes, we could have one of each. There's no rules for that. Now, because we are at x squared, we don't need to do long division again. The x squared conveniently factors to x plus 3 and x plus 1, which tells us that that x plus 4 is not going to cancel. And if it doesn't cancel, we found an asymptote. At what x value makes this 0? negative 4 makes it 0. That's our asymptote. So we found one hole, we found one asymptote. This is the equation that's left over after you take the hole out. That's important to know because it's easier to work with than the original equation. So if we go down below and we try to find the limit questions for G, um, we have the easiest one. The easiest one to answer is number 8. I know I skipped 6 and 7. We'll come back to that. 8 says find the limit as x approaches uh, negative 4. Negative 4 is the asymptote. What's the limit at an asymptote? Does not exist. If we go to number 9, number 9 says find the limit as x approaches 5. What's happening at 5? It was the hole. How do you find the limit at a hole? We plug the x value into the equation, the one with the hole taken out. If we use the original equation, we'll get an error. But we can plug 5 into these remaining x's. We could probably do that in our head. We have 5 squared is 25. 25 plus 20, 45, plus 3 is 48. 48 over 9. I am out of time.